Hi everyone, we made it to box number six and it is mostly movie stars. And we're starting right off the bat with a beautiful Carmen Miranda and Lana Turner. I'm not gonna pull these out of the sleeves. I think maybe she's might not be that tight in her die cut area. This is a, this is a really good Tyrone Power and Linda Darnell. Wow, this is an, this is beautiful. I think everybody knows Marilyn had quite a collection of movie star paper dolls. And when I opened this box, I kind of suspected there'd be a lot of movie stars in here because um, it was one of the insured boxes. And, um, oops, this one's, the spine is loose on this. Otherwise, it's... It's really, really beautiful. Wow, the colors of this are extraordinary. I have a copy of this, and it's it's quite faded, but this one is very nicely preserved. Oh, that's actually the cover. Oh my God, I love these clothes. Oh, how cute is that dress? Love the outfits in this scale storm. This is an excellent Lana Turner. Excellent condition. This is early 40s, I believe. Oh, Marilyn's made some notes here. It looks like she's identifying uh, movie costumes in this book, little pencil notes. Oh, this is lovely. Very nice condition. Disney movies. Marilyn's got a lot of these, I think. In TV show, too. Beverly Hillbillies. Granny, Ellie Mae. Oh my gosh, look at the fancy trees around the Clampett estate. Marilyn had a lot of little, little women paper dolls. Now, What's going on here? I think, is this one of those cases where she, she redrew? No, I don't think so. It almost looks like she, um, she pieced the cover together, but I don't think so. It just looks like it's got a little bit warped. Yeah, it got a little damp, but wow, the colors are fantastic. And again, she has movie notes on the backs of some of these clothes. Wow, the clothes are great here. Miss America. Well, hey, look at this. This is, I would guess, from what, early 70s? And there's a record inside. Use the book, hear the sounds. I guess you put on a fashion show and listen to uh, music. Hmm. Wow, I wish I had a record player. I would like to hear what that sounds like. That's neato. Oh my gosh, the costumes are so wonderful in so many of these books. I love the lush coloring. I had this one as a kid. Mine is cut out. Oh, here's a nice original Queen Holden. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's a really good one.
add more to my pile here. Box set, move out of the way. You know, okay, now here's a case. Now let me see if this is one where Marilyn pieced it together. This is one I think she did. I, th I think she drew this section here to finish. I have to find the other uh, Ann Southern to compare. I don't know if I can, here it is. Um, yeah. I don't know if she painted or photo color copied. It looks like she painted a section here to finish a book that was partly cut. I mean, these this is uh, hand lettering. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it looks like we've got some Jane Powells. Oh, come on, is that a cute outfit there? Oh, storybook about Gloria Jean. There's a paper doll that goes with this, but that's the storybook. It's like a partly cut set. Liz Taylor, note that says pieces are missing, so I'm not gonna open that up. Wow, this is in really, really good shape from what it looks like anyway through the plastic. More Jane Powell with more excellent clothes. Marilyn, of course, did a paper doll of Jane Powell for Paper Studio Press. And we did that in conjunction with Jane Powell herself. This looks like it might be partly cut. Shirley Temple from hmm, 76 maybe it looks like. Virginia Wheedler, I like her in her movies. She was always a feisty kid. Added a little zest to her movies she was in. I have quite a few of these books in my own collection, but they're not quite as well preserved as, as Marilyn's. So it's nice to see these. Oh, this one's already cut out, ready to dress up and put on put on a show of Oklahoma. This looks like it's partly coming out here, so I'll be careful. Really good clothes. Oh, the spine's loose on that. Let's put that one aside. Put a few more here. Move Cameron back out of here. Ooh, how about that? Modern interior there. I like that. Another beautiful 40s star book. We found one of these in a previous box. This is the, is this the 50th? And wait a second. This one is not the 50th anniversary reissue. This is from 1940. So this is the original Gone with the Wind book. Um, Turner Classic Movies put out a uh, a little bit smaller reproduction of this on the 50th anniversary of the film. And Marilyn has the original from 1940. The colors are so much better in this one. 
Oh my goodness, what a treat. All right, Haley Mills and the Moon Spinners. I watched this movie a few weeks ago on Disney Plus, and as much as I'm a fan of Haley Mills, I did not super love that movie, but I do love seeing Haley Mills. It's a nice Liz Taylor. It looks like it's in good shape. Oh, Oklahoma. Paper doll and the story. There must be outfits in here somewhere. Here they are. Oh, this is terrific. Nice. Oh, wow. All right, Alice in Wonderland fans. Oh, my. I can't see the date on this, but they're stand-up figures, it looks like. And the colors are phenomenal. Everything is so nicely intact. I don't know, color copies stuck in here, but oh, wow. Now, this is one, one I sent to Marilyn myself. I got a hold of it for the article Marilyn did on pig paper dolls, and she wanted it so much for her own collection, so I sent it to her, and, and now I have it back here. Oh, it's nice to see that again looks like it's cut out. Here's our American fashion designer, Claire McArdle, known for the popover dress. This is in nice shape. And here we have baby dolls thrown in. Ooh, Maloche clothes. Adorable. Here's a looks like it's partly punched out so I'm not going to open this up of the princesses and this looks like it's in worse condition so I'm going to ignore that one. Just a little bit of everything here but mainly stars in box number six and a lot of beautiful uncut excellent condition books so we have a lot to look forward to. Thanks everybody!